Between Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson, and Sharika Jackson, Jamaica seems to have a hold on the medals in the women's 100 meter dash as we enter the 2022 World Championships in Eugene, Oregon. They not only swept the medals at the Tokyo Olympics last year, but they are now already the top three fastest women in 2022 as well. I personally think they are poised to sweep the medals again this year, but we know things don't always go to form. Right now, there are a plethora of women from around the world who have not only run fast, but are truly capable of winning a medal in the 100 meter dash. So let's quickly take a look at some of those women who could break up a potential sweep of the 100 meter dash by the Jamaican women. First off, we have Mujinga Kampunji from Switzerland. Now she is the world indoor champion in the 60 meter dash, so is clearly fast and very capable of beating top names. Jamaica is close to having a stranglehold of the event, and again, I'm predicting a sweep, but Kambunji is capable of breaking up that sweep. She has run a personal best of 10.89 seconds this season and has been very consistent, not only this year, but in years past. She got sixth place at the Olympic Games last year in the 100 meter final, but Kambunji is here to capitalize if anyone falters or makes a mistake. Next up, we have Melissa Jefferson from the United States. Now, Jefferson has been the story of 2022 when it comes to sprinting. She's the NCAA indoor champion in the 60 meter dash. She only got eighth place at NCAA outdoors in the 100, but she came back to win the USA championship title in a windy time of 10.69 seconds. That complemented her legal personal best of 10.82 seconds, which she ran in the semifinals. Look for her to build off what she's been doing this year, which includes 10.96, 10.88, and again, that 10.82, and possibly get a medal, maybe even dipping into the 10 sevens. We have to talk about Dina Asher Smith from Great Britain. She is the silver medalist in the 100 meter dash from the last world championships in Doha 2019. She is also one of the most consistent sprinters of probably the past seven or eight years, having competed in the finals of the 200 meters at the 2015 World Championships. She's coming off an injury last year. She had a slight injury at the Tokyo Olympic Games, took her out of the 100 and 200, and she's had a little bit slower start to the season, but she is the defending 200 meter world champion, and again, the defending 2019 world silver medalist. But Dina Asher Smith will always be there to put down a great performance when it matters, so definitely keep a lookout for her. Moving back to the United States, we have Aaliyah Hobbs. Now, despite losing to Melissa Jefferson at USA's, I actually think Hobbs is the biggest American threat to win a 100 meter medal. This is her first world championship team, but she is very experienced. Having won Diamond League races, Continental Tour races, and other top competitions in the past, she has a personal best of 10.81 seconds, which she ran this year at USA's. And she also has times of 10.83, as well as 10.88 from this year. And she has that windy 10.72 in the finals of USA's just behind Jefferson. I think Hobbs is extremely hungry considering that mistake that the officials made giving her a false start last year at the Olympic trials and then of course reinstating her. So she is going to be gunning for a 100 meter medal. So look for her to not only possibly grab a medal, but also dip into the 10 sevens as well. Now we're talking about a Jamaican sweep, but we have to mention Kemba Nelson and Nelson really made a name for herself back in 2021 when she won the NCAA indoor championships. Since then, she's been kind of up and down a little bit, but she came back and finished second place at the NCAA Outdoors this year in the 100 meters. She then made the Jamaican 100 meter team, running a personal best of 10.88 seconds for second place at the trials, only behind Sharika Jackson and just ahead of Elaine Thompson Hurrah. She can very well make this a Jamaican 1, 2, 3, 4, considering what she has run. So with her 10.88 personal best and multiple sub 11 times, do not rule out a larger Jamaican sweep with Nelson in that 100 meters. Back over to the United States, Twanisha Terry. Now, Twanisha Terry has been having an amazing 2022 season. She won a couple high quality races this year, including the Mount Sac race, which had a plethora of big names there. And she has also run sub 11 multiple times throughout the year. 
including a best of 10.87 seconds at USA's. She of course finished third place with a windy time of 10.77, just behind Aliyah Hobbs and Melissa Jefferson. But Terry has been hitting on all cylinders. I love her attitude, I love her charisma, and I love her grit that she puts into our 100 meter races. Look for her to be challenging for a medal in that final. Moving back to Great Britain, we have to mention Daryl Nita. Now, of course, we spoke about Dina Asher Smith, but Nita has been having an amazing season as well. 2021 was really a huge breakout for Nita. Last year, she broke 11 seconds for the first time and also made it to the Tokyo Olympic final where she eventually finished eighth place. This year, she's already broken 11 seconds with a best of 10.99 seconds. So to run sub 11 prior to the championships bodes very well for her chances going into Worlds. She also won the British National Championships, actually beating Diener Asher Smith along the way and running a windy time of 10.80 seconds. Again, the 100 meters is super stacked, but Nita showed that she can make a global final, so look for her to be very competitive here. Over in Nigeria, we have Favor Ophelia. Now, it seems that people kind of forgot a bit about Ophelia. Yes, yeah, she lost to Steiner at NCAAs in the 200 and she got fifth place in the 100 meters, but Ophelia has still run 10.93 seconds and is the fifth fastest African woman in history. She also had the benefit of not having to run at Nigerian national trials, so she should be a bit more rested than some of her other competitors. Her 10.93 personal best and a plethora of other fast times shows that Ophili is capable of being in the mix when it matters. We also have to talk about Maria Jose Talu. Now, Talu is an absolute gamer. She got fourth place at the Olympics last year. She got bronze and silver in Doha and London, respectively, over the past two world championships. And her personal best is 10.78 seconds from the Tokyo Olympic Games. This year, she's only run 11.01 seconds, but again, Talu is a gamer and she will always be in the mix. Now, Talu's fellow countrywoman, also from Cote d'Ivoire, we have Muriel Ahure, and Ahure is an absolute veteran of the 100 meters. She competed all the way back at the 2012 Olympics, where she made the final in both the 100 and the 200, and she also won double silver at the 2013 World Championships in the 100 and 200 meters behind Shelly and Fraser Price. Her personal best is 10.78 seconds from 2016. And though she hasn't been in that form, she has run a season's best of 10.95 seconds this year, which is actually her fastest time since 2018. So Muriel Ahure could very well be in the mix along with Talu, both of them from Cote d'Ivoire. Finally, we have Julian Alfred. Now, Alfred is a 2022 NCAA champion, and she really came on strong over the past couple years, but this year, she put it down on the track and did not look back. She has multiple fast times, including a 10.98, 10.90, and a personal best of 10.81 seconds. She also has two windy times of 10.80 seconds. Again, she won the NCAA Outdoor 100 meter dash, and she recently won the Caribbean Games under 23 competition. She'll be competing for St. Lucia, so look for her to represent very well and possibly get her country's first ever world championship medal. Now, like I noted, Shelly and Fraser Price, Sharika Jackson, Elaine Thompson, hurrah, I'm predicting these three Jamaican women to sweep the 100 meter dash at these world championships, just based on what we've seen the past couple years and specifically what we have seen this year alone. But the women I listed above are all more than capable of meddling in the 100 meters. But let me hear from you. Go in the comments below and let me know who you think will medal in the 100 meters at the world championships in Eugene. And even let me know who you think are some of the dark horses who are able to potentially surprise and challenge for a medal that I might not have mentioned. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again next time. Thanks.